we're now going to take a look at pixel mapping within Magic Cube. So pixel mapping is great if you want to overlay bits of media, shapes and effects over your fixtures. So the first thing we need to do is put our fixtures into a grid so that Magic Cube knows how our fixtures are laid out and then how it's going to apply that media over those fixtures. So to do this, we first need to go to the output window. So if I press the Alt key here to get to the output window and then go view plan and view grid. Now, just like the execute window, we're now going to see a big message pop up saying no grid size defined. So first of all, we need to set up the grid size for our fixtures. So to do this, I go set grid size at the top here. And I've got these panels, which are five by five pixels in a five by five array. So that's a total of 25 by 25 pixels. So I need to set 25 by 25, like so. So now that we've got our 25 by 25 grid, we need to insert those panels into that grid so that Magic U knows how those panels are laid out. So with some fixtures, if you've got them laid out in a bit more of a complex way, you might need to insert these individually one by one. But what I can do, because they're in a nice square, is I can select the whole group and then just insert that group into the grid. So I'm going to go to the group window, select group of panels, back to the output window. I'm going to select this top left square here and I'm going to say insert heads. Once I've clicked this, we're gonna get a few different options. So we've got horizontal and vertical, and we've also got duplicate element, horizontal and vertical. So the difference between this is if I was to just select horizontal or vertical, it's going to insert the whole fixture into one square on the grid. But if I've got a multi-element fixture and I select either of the duplicate element, horizontal or vertical options, it's going to insert one element per section of the grid. And that's what we really want here. So I'm going to select duplicate element, horizontal, and then we have to select the orientation. So in this case, I'm going to select horizontal left to right. Once I've done that, you can see it's inserted all of these fixtures into this grid. We've got these thick white lines here, defining each individual fixture, and we've got the head numbers in the grid. So now that we've inserted those into the grid, what we need to do is patch a pixel mapper from that to use for our pixel mapping. So if I press patch pix map at the top right here, I'm going to say yes, I want to patch that pixel mapper. And then it's going to ask for the number of layers I want. So a layer is essentially a piece of media that you can just layer up on top of each other. So I'm going to say I want three different layers. So type three, enter. And it's going to say patch pix map v2. It's, it's v2 because it's pixel mapper two because we've already got one pixel mapper patched in this show file. If it's the first one you were patching, it would be pixel mapper number one. So now, if I go to the media window up here, this window is where we'll be doing all the control of our pixel mapper. So now you'll notice again, we've got pix1, which was already patched in this show file, and then pix2, which we've just patched here. If I select pix2 and select the first layer and press locate, you should see you get a nice cross over your grid to show that you've located those fixtures. If you don't have a nice cross, then you might need to go back to your output grid and look how you've arranged those fixtures in there. Maybe they've been arranged incorrectly. So we've located our fixtures and got this cross. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a bit of media over our fixtures. So I'm going to go to the media tab here, and then I can scroll through the media pages on the Y encoder. Let's go through to the page I need. And we've got a few bits of media already loaded in here. I'm going to select this bit of media here. So you can see that's now running across those panels. If I want to resize that, I could go to the position section here and say adjust the X size and Y size. I can rotate it and I can adjust the X and Y positions. Let's say if I move it over a bit, there we go. And maybe resize the Y axis a bit like so. So we've resized that bit of media and now we're going to apply something to media layer two. So as the layers go up in numbers, it will apply the media on top of the previous layers. So layer two is going to be applied on top of layer one 
and layer three is going to be applied on top of layers two and one and so on. So if I go select layer two, I'll need to again press locate and this time I'm going to add an effect. So effects, we've got some built in effects here, say vertical lines, for example. So I can have that vertical line scrolling across. Again, I could resize that if I wanted, or I can also adjust the color in the color section. If I go here, I can say, turn down the red like so, so it's set to more of a cyan color. So I can adjust the color in this section here. Finally, I'm going to go to layer three, select that layer, and again, press locate. And this time, I'm going to apply some text to this layer. So we've got a few preset bits of text here, but I want to set my own text. To do this, I'll click set, select any of these plank squares here, so this one here, for example, and type in the text that I want to set here, like so. Now, if I select this square here, labeled test, it's going to apply that text to my grid. If I adjust the text speed on the F encoder here, I can get that text to start scrolling, like so. There we go, so we've got that scrolling quite slowly across our grid there. So we've recorded uh, quite a bit of information there. We've got three different layers with various uh, media effects and text running there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to record that as a cue. So if I press record, just like anything else, and select a playback here, I can then clear the programmer and it'll clear all of that information, just like programming with any other fixtures. And I can recall that on that playback and it's recorded all of that pixel mapping information into a single cue. So that's an introduction into pixel mapping to get you started. Now, the final thing we're going to look at is using the CMV converter for converting media for use with pixel mapping. So to do this, I'd go to Tools at the top of Magic Queue and go to CMV Converter here. With this selected, I first need to go and select my bit of media. So here's a bit of media I've got here. And then what we need to do is set the width and height that we want that media. So I'm going to set it to the same width and height that I set my grid. So 25 by 25 and press convert. Once that's done, if I then go and select my pixel mapper again, and again, locate it, I can go to the media tab here and scroll through the pages until I get to the media page. And this one here, this is the GIF that I've just converted. So if I select that, it's going to apply that across my grid. So you can convert various different types of GIFs and movie files, and then you can apply those to your pixel mapper. So that's a bit on pixel mapping. And now finally, we're going to move on to file management and settings.